Good morning, you guys. Guess where we're going on an adventure. I Dunkin' look, Donuts, you're right. I look so gross right now. So do I. Anyways, we're headed to Dallas, Texas to go see my brother and have some fun and it's gonna be a fun weekend and I this is some like good a sober fun some good sober fun because keyword there <laughs> yeah look at this isn't gonna work out okay we're headed to our gate and I'm probably gonna sleep on the flight <laughs> okay bye Okay, so obviously I am back in my room. I just am a terrible vlogger. Honestly, I totally left my vlog camera in my carry-on pocket and I forgot that I was vlogging that I had this camera. I just got so caught up in seeing Cameron and seeing my family and just having fun with Tori in Texas that I completely forgot to vlog. I do have Snapchat stories, which I will show right now. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you definitely should. I will link it down below. Um, but yeah, my weekend was super fun. It went by really, really fast. And we already have another trip to go back planned for the summer when it's a little bit hotter. It was so cold in Texas. It was like snowing, or at least in Dallas, it was like snowing. And it wasn't anything like here, but it was just like too cold for any natives to want to go do anything. Um, yeah, I did a little bit of shopping, like a little tiny bit, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I think I got a bunch of cool stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. The first thing that I have is from a bar in Texas, and I am 21, so I can drink. Um, and it looks like this. There is, this is it. This is a boot. It had like a jungle juice thing in it, which was so good. Really sugary, but really good. And I bought the boot, because why not? And... This is a bar called PR's, which is one of my brother's favorite bars to go to. Did you know you can be 18 and go into a bar? It like blows my mind. Anyways, so I have this boot to drink like water or chocolate milk out of. Um, I also went to Abercrombie. I went shopping with Tori and my aunt um, the last day we were there. And the main place I wanted to go to was Sephora. So I'll get to that because I went a little bit ham. Um, but I went to Abercrombie because why not? I just love going in there and just looking at things. I look so pale. Well, I mean, I am really pale right now, but I just, wow, it's really pale. Um, I got this shirt and it's just this blue plaid shirt and I love this color plaid. I have a shirt like this, exactly this pattern from American Eagle and I shrunk it. So... I wanted to get this and I got it in an extra large which is not my size it is a little bit bigger than my size um, but I wanted it to be baggier and I wanted to wear it as kind of like a layering piece so yeah that was on sale for like $40 which is kind of expensive for a flannel but it's really good quality and it smells really good um, I also went to Rue not Rue 21 what is this place called Charlotte Rue's which I never go into but um I went in there and I found this shirt, which is kind of random, um, but I'm going to Country Fest in Nashville in June. And I just saw this and I thought it'd be really cute to wear. Light wash, high waisted cutoffs, I think be really cute with like some cowboy boots, like black ones. Um, I don't even know what it says. It's like a fake band tee, but I think this detail is really cool. It's just like a whole lace up. And I think with like, either a black bralette or just like a regular bra I think would be really cute um and that's just like a possible outfit I don't know if I'm gonna end up wearing this but it was cheap and I wanted to grab it just in case it looked cute I went to pink because they were having their sale um it sucked <laughs> there was like nothing there um but I grabbed this which was on sale for $22.99 it was originally $32.35 32 dollars so I really didn't save that much but it just looks like this it's a huge, it's just a baggy light gray shirt that says we're Texas horns. I don't know. I wanted to get something Texas-y, so I found this, and I thought it was cute. And I feel like if I were to live there, this was the team that I would root for, so 
who knows. Um, and then at the airport, which is super random, but I think it's really cute, I found an actual, like, Texas shirt, um, and I think it's really cute, so it's kind of, I wanted it bigger, so I got another, I got another, like, bigger size. This is Texas Lone Star State, and it's long sleeve, and the back says Texas. It says the same thing, but I think it's cute, um, and yeah. And then, like I was saying, I didn't go, like, ham at Sephora, but I did buy... <laughs> A lot of stuff the first thing I got was a new foundation because I've been using the Maybelline fit me dewy foundation and it oxidizes really bad and for the longest time I thought that I just had a really dark shade so I actually bought like three shades because I kept going lower I'll, sh I'll show you yeah I have three of the same foundation in 125 120 and 115 and I thought for the longest time that it was just cuz I was getting pale or I don't know um this one was very dark. 125 was really dark. 120 was perfect. But like I said, it oxidizes and it didn't click with me that it did that until my third foundation. And then I was like, I'm orange. I'm not dark. I'm orange. And the color matched me and the lady said that this one was really good. It's the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation. When she put it on me, I loved it. She didn't put anything else but this foundation on me. And I was like, wow, I could work some magic with like other products also on my face. And then I put it on today and it might be a little too light for me and it also um well in this lighting it looks dark but anyways um it also is kind of streaky but i feel like with powder and stuff it fixes that i really do like how dewy this looks though um so i'm gonna keep it because i like it but it's something that i would normally never grab because i didn't even know she had foundation so um i also got this she put this on my face and i figured I needed something like this. This is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Um, and they just kind of exfoliate your face and brighten and tone and stuff. And I just needed a pad that did that because recently I've been breaking out. And I've only used this for like three days and I feel like it's really, really helping the texture of my skin. So um, I don't even know how much this was. She just used it and asked if I wanted it. And I was like, okay, yeah. So who knows? And my receipt still hasn't gotten to me yet. So I don't know. I also got this, which is the Ole Henriksen. I don't even know where the box went. Oh, it's way over there. Um, this is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. I heard Lauren Elizabeth talking about this, and I got the little sample baby size, and I started to really like it, so I decided to grab the full size, and this was expensive for skincare. It's like $40. But um, when I was using it, I felt like it was helping my face. It's not like a miracle product, but I felt like it was giving me a little bit more oomph to my skin. So I grabbed this. I use it at night. I think you're supposed to use it in the morning. I'm almost a VIB Rouge member, which is embarrassing, but also just I really want it. <laughs> um, so I got this Perk Point. I always get this whenever they have it. It's just the Estee Lauder Bi Facial Makeup Remover. It is an amazing makeup remover for like my eye makeup because I use waterproof everything so I like this and I get it every time I see it. I feel like I got so much more but maybe I didn't anyways this is the Urban Decay Vice lipstick which I've had one of these I have absolutely no idea where that went I got it for Black Friday I think I didn't even really like the color I have no idea where it went but this one is in wrong number and it's a sheer which I like sheer lipsticks it looks really dark I feel like this isn't the right one that I picked up but whatever the one I feel like I picked up was like orangey but it's kind of more of a pink I have it on right now under like a lipstick so it totally changes the color but I just wanted to put up like a little little vloggy poo thing just to like say hi and hey and what's going on I I dyed my hair and got it cut I'm going back on Saturday to get it a little bit darker not darker but like it's really red right now and I just don't like the redness like, this is my natural color up here, and I want it all over. So, yeah, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, like, vlog, even though it was a fail of a Dallas vlog. Hope you guys still enjoyed it. And I'm going to edit, like, one million videos right now, so I will see you guys next video. Bye!